And gentlemen, welcome to part two of this. So if you haven't seen the other part, uh, there'll be a link somewhere, probably in the pinned comment. But the too long didn't read is this. Rob Stark avenged his family, ousted the Lannisters from the Iron Throne, declared himself King of the North, and then went back home again, only to realize that being King is really boring and stressful. So Rob, being the Chad in the North, went down south, snuck into King's Landing, and impregnated Daenerys. Can I say impregnating without getting demonetized? He's a monster. Oh well. Anyway, they had a kid, only the kid didn't make it. Daenerys has unalived herself. I'm definitely not allowed to say anything but unalived in the first 30 seconds of the video. But Daenerys is no more. Her brother is no more. The Targaryens have gone bye-bye, leaving Jon Snow as the one true king. So Rob spirits Jon out of the capital, returns to the north, and plots to place his half-brother slash cousin on the Iron Throne. All of which is still a better story than the season 8 ending of Game of Thrones. Uh, my sister Sansa has died in childbirth, so King Robert Arryn is currently experiencing a absolutely humongous rebellion. Uh, the Royces are rising up in revolt, in a liberty war. I don't know how that's going to go. But, um, he abandoned us in our hour of need, so now I'm abandoning him. Screw the parents, they don't deserve my help. The Rock has declared itself independent from the Iron Throne, just as the Reach and Dawn are attacking them in their own independence wars. So the South is falling apart of the seams, lads. We are going to march south and declare our intention to install John Targaryen back on the Iron Throne. All right, well, we're going to split this in half. Rob will march on the capital, while the Great John takes command of the armies. Eh, or Rob could get some action in as well. Cut these lads off. There you go. Wait, the Lannisters are getting involved? Why is there a Lannister army there helping me? Ferry Bridge. Okay. What's under siege? Ah, there's some forces over here with the Bancers. Okay. Known for the dedication to my faith. Excellent. I am losing a lot of gold. So I can't drag out the war for too long, so I am going to march on the capital. I have another son, let's. Another son. Uh, this will be... Willem. Pretty much we've had a Rickard, and Rickon's still alive, so... Willem's stuck. Get over there now, Rob. Oh, throw these assholes back into the Blackwater, lads. Editing soul here, lads. If you're wondering why the battle sounds like all of the fighters are using Xbox 360 headsets to scream at each other in a Halo lobby, I, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, whether or not John wants to actually keep the throne is entirely debatable. What I might do, lads, is have John dismantle the Iron Throne and just declare an end to it. Like, it takes a Targaryen to say enough is enough, and we just split the Westeros up into... Independent kingdoms? You will bow before the dragon wolf and accept his judgment. Damn, they're all fleeing for the Blackwater. Cowards. God, help Tully. Go, 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 go. Save the Tullys. Again. Yeah, grab 9k of them while the rest of them get split off. Lovely stuff. We've almost taken the Red Keep. My glory is widely... Oh, I didn't know you knew I accorded my glory. Oh, the Red Keep is son of a bitch. They might actually lift it. They might actually lift it. No! No, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin my siege progress! No! God damn it. Oh, well, we won anyway. The Iron Throne war banner I have taken. Throne is John's. He becomes king of the Iron Throne, and he will declare the uh, the realm of Westeros to be split up and independent from there on out. Yeah, if I stop digging up my carpet. Bad dog, bad, bad dog. Anyway, King John now sits the Iron Throne. His first and only decree as king of Westeros will be the dismantling of the realm. For the good of the North, lads, to secure future generations. Never again will the Targaryen rule with tyranny. Never again will the Iron Throne loom over the Starks. The realm will be shattered. Back to the petty kingdoms from whence it came. John Targaryen, the last of his line, sat upon the Iron Throne and declared once and for all that the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros were no more. The Crown Lands, such as they are, have been merged in with the Northern Kingdoms, and John has taken his seat on Dragonstone, changing the Targaryen banner to a grey dragon on the field of white to distance himself from the old Targaryen rules, basically. He's kept the motto, uh, he's kept the dragon, but obviously it's stark colours, pretty much. And he has been granted Dragonstone and been named the Prince of Dragonstone. Uh, the Crown Lands and King's Landing proper, which I have renamed to King's End, in light of, you know, 
this being the end of the great dynasty of kings that used to rule there. Not anymore, lads. Not anymore. I have given it to my son, uh, Brandon, who will rule as Lord Paramount of the Crownlands uh, for his brother in the future. Also, Willem has been named as uh, the Lord of Crackle Point. Eastermont, I'm only assuming in a bid to get some legitimacy for his crown, has asked for an alliance. So I'm fine with that, to be honest. I also have an alliance with the King of the Reach, Garland Tyrell, because his daughter, Princess Glenna, is betrothed to my son, Prince Eddard. Dawn is independent and is none of my business. I don't really care what they're doing. Uh, all that's left is The Rock and me challenging Tywin Lannister once again for the right to take ice back from those bastards. Fifth time is the charm. We've tried several times to make this work. It never works. There were sudden clutches. Da -da -da, there sudden thrall. Uh, Tywin tries to faint with the sword. Harry strike cost. Maggot, do you think you can stand against me? Strike, parry, repost. You never get back, oh my god. What? How did he win? How does he keep winning? He's 71 years old. He's a sodomite, by the way, so... Elena, Ty Elena Tyrell was correct. He did bugger that stable boy. He's also infirm. Rob, how? How do you keep losing? Fine, we'll take this back the old-fashioned way. All the river lords are joining up with us. River run. A curse undone. Tywin literally kicked the bucket afterwards, dying of old age. I am still going to go get my fucking sword back. Ah. John's come to bend the knee. Oh, I uh, I married John to Princess Shireen. Ah, she's already pregnant. Sh uh, Princess Shireen, by the way. So yeah, Prince John bends the knee. I just think like the, the ultimate Chad move for Jon Snow is to take the throne and then go, I don't want it. And then he just disbands it and then hands over everything to his brother and the Starks. Proving to once and for all to the realm that he uh, he never wanted power. He only ever wanted what's best for his family. It is now being ruled by the blind dwarf son of Tywin. Tyrion of House Lannister. Who has my goddamn father's sword. And will pay the price for his hubris. Fight, lads! <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the feud with the Lannisters is going anywhere. Wait, what? John died? Oh, you son of a bitch, you killed John! No! Who? Sandor in the Westlands. He died during battle. No! Shireen's pregnant, though. So the line will continue, but John died. God damn it. God damn it, that sucks. Ah, uh, please tell me he has sons. He has sons by Shireen, and then they'll inherit. So the line of Targaryens, uh, actually somewhat starky, continues. Who dares to message me? Ah, Rob's going to be pissed about this, lads. Rob is going to be pissed about this. Ah, yeah, we march on Castle Rock, because if I chase those forces, it's, I'm going to lose so much shit to attrition. I'm in debt. That's, that's charming. I forget that I have, like, a billion health. All right, fine. Let's go kill these guys. I don't have much of a choice, because it's going to take way too long to siege your shit. Death to the Lannisters! A Stark will never forget them. I have another son. Oh, we need to name it John. Son of a bitch, I can't believe John died. Can't believe he did this. How the hell Edmure died? These Lannister assholes are costing me so many family members. I thought we could handle this, but uh, I'm going to be in crippling debt at this rate before we actually manage to pull it off. So I'm calling in the Tyrells to assist. I died! No! Oh, son of a bitch, I got killed during the war! Rob! This war has taken everything from me! Eddard comes into his own at the age of 15. Forever the young wolf, slain in battle. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. This is like the war for ice. This is the ice war, lads. How's- did Serene pop out sons yet? Yeah, yeah, she did. Torrin. I can't believe- she, I can't believe this, lads. Eddard is not the fighter as, uh... Not the fighter as father was, admittedly. Do we end the war? Cut our losses? I feel like we've had a lot of death. We get ice back. Just like my father wished. And then we, uh, we get the hell out of here. At least we returned ice to us, lads. And the only downside being that, uh... We lost King Rob in the process. But now King Eddard ascends the throne of winter. And an uncertain future. 
Does he have a claim on the Mountain of the Veil? No, he does not. Now we're in debt, actually. He might have a claim to that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, because the game is freezing like hell and running at about one frame a second, we'll wrap this up here. Rob Stark has died in battle, along with Jon Snow. I, I just really sad that, to be honest, they both died in the same war trying to reclaim their ancestral Valerian steel. Uh, King Eddard of House Stark sits the Winter Throne, ruling over the greatest kingdom in Westeros. He is betrothed to uh, Garland, or King Garland's daughter, bringing the Reach as a strong ally at our side, probably the second most powerful of the realm. If it ever lets me zoom in, I can click on Dragonstone and show you that uh, Serene is ruling as the Lady of Dragonstone at present, the regent of her son, Torrin, Torrin Targaryen, which is just ironic as hell that the Targaryen dynasty is like whittled down to a Stark banner named Torrin. Torrin, Torrin Stark, bent the knee, Torrin, yeah, get it. Anyway, that branch of House Targaryen will continue to rule as princes of Dragonstone, and uh, I feel like they get to keep the title of prince as a nod to the support of all that. Uh, Eddard's brother, Brandon, rules from King's Landing, or King's End, as it's been renamed, and ruling over the Crown Lands. The Tullys are still in control of... Actually, wait, what? Catelyn's in control of the thing. What happened? Oh, yeah, Edmund died, right? I don't know why Catelyn is in charge. Like, RP-wise, Raymond is going to be put in charge. I don't know why Catelyn's taken over. I'm assuming she's regent of the Riverlands and is looking after that until the boy comes of age. The Arons are still ruling the Vale, King Robert. Uh, he has a son. He is, as always, a drunkard, stuttering, feeble fool, known as a coward throughout the realm. Uh, the Greyjoys are still the Greyjoys. Actually, Fionn is in charge of the Iron Islands right now. He's king. And we'll wrap this up, lads, because I, it's, it's like one frame. The game is so unstable. This mod is cool. I love being able to play the other bookmarks, but it is not viable to keep playing like this. I'm, I can only assume it's probably the mods. The mods are doing this. It has to be the mods. It's never usually this bad. But these are just supposed to be one-shot little scenarios that we play for. So, you know, it is what it is. I'll do, uh, I'll do other dynasty things like I usually do. Bigger Let's Play series with other stuff later on. But for now, I'm just wanting to do some of these scenarios. I thank you for watching, though. That is all for now. The future of House Stark is looking good. Uh, King Eddard will spend the rest of his reign most likely trying to deal with the debt problem. Consolidating his power and resources and uh, building up the networks and relations with the nearby kingdoms, I imagine. But never again will the Iron Throne rule the land. Westeros will remain from this day until the end of days a collection of independent kingdoms. Until either the Starks or the Targaryen descendants decide, hey, I want this stuff. Or maybe the Targaryen descendants get a dragon or something, I don't know. But now, though, things are fine, and uh, winter winter is not coming. Summer is here, lads, and it's, it's all peaceful now. I thank you for watching. That is all for now. Remember to like and subscribe. Click the buttons, as if you don't know where the damn buttons are, and every other YouTuber on the internet doesn't tell you over and over again exactly where they are. You know where they are, for love of God. Anyway. Thank you for watching. That is all for now. Soul out. This war is far from over.